body fatness is actually very tightly controlled. If you are, get too fat, your fat cells release, release leptin. The leptin goes to your hypothalamus, which tells you stop eating. And therefore, it's going to, as you stop eating, your weight is going to go back down, your body fatness is going to go back. So it's a homeostatic sort of uh, relationship. Obesity is not a leptin deficiency state, so therefore you simply cannot just give more leptin. It's a leptin resistant state. That is, your body has leptin, it just isn't signaling it properly. And probably one of the things that uh, is a problem is that if leptin, uh, or any hormone, right? Any hormonal system, any body system, if, if, if something stays high and stays high for a long time, your body develops resistance to it. So if you have continuously stimulating leptin, then at some point, your body just stops resisting. So the only thing you can do is try to sort of lower the leptin um, by getting the body fat down. And that's, that's, that's a lot of hard work. So the insulin is sort of trying to make you fatter versus the leptin, which is trying to make you leaner. So it's sort of the seesaw balance. So it's very hard to affect it on the leptin side of the seesaw, whereas it's a lot easier to affect it on the insulin side of the seesaw because the foods you eat and how often you eat are going to play a large role in how much insulin you secrete, whereas you can't do the same thing and say, well, I'm going to eat this and leptin is going to go up or down or whatever. If you eat 100% fructose, for example, then your blood glucose does not go up at all. So people thought, hey, this is really good. Um, but eventually it, it turned out that people realized that, hey, it was really bad. Um, people who use, say, high fructose corn syrup, which was this artificially fructose-enriched uh, substance. Uh, table sugar is sort of 50% glucose and 50% fructose. It turns out that it's in the way that the fructose is metabolized that it's so bad for you. So even you can't see it in the blood glucose, but the fructose cannot be metabolized by any cell in the body other than the liver. So when you eat bread, it, you get glucose. Every cell in your body can use that glucose. So if you take too much glucose, your brain is going to burn it, your heart is going to burn it, your kidneys are going to burn glucose. If you get a fructose load, none of the other organs can actually burn that fructose. So instead of having like 150, 180 pounds of body burning glucose, all of that fructose goes purely straight into the liver, right? Which is like a, you know, a 10 pound organ or less. So therefore, the, the liver then has to decide what to do with it. And it gets metabolized um, either into glucose, but then your body has glucose. So it doesn't turn it into glucose. It turns it into fat. It stimulates de novo lipogenesis which gives you fatty liver, which then you know, worsens this whole cycle of insulin resistance. So the key organ of, in metabolism, and a lot of metabolism, is the liver. And it's going sort of straight to the liver. It's like a guided missile that goes straight to the liver and causes a lot of havoc right at the liver.